So here is a, like I said, we're talking about rhythmic sequence. So the A1 is our first number, N represents our term, and D is our common difference. So I have a set of numbers here. And when you do this, you might want to kind of set this up as like a table. So I'm going to create a table here. And each of these numbers represents a position. All right, so we call those the nth position or nth term. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if I asked you what the fifth term was, you would say 14. If I asked you what the second term is, you'd say negative 4. Term is like what, what place the numbers come in. So we want to write an equation. We want to create an equation using these numbers and how they're defined. So I'm going to rewrite my equation. So it's a to the n, which a to the n is like our y, equals, my first number is, and I'll put in red, our first number, first number is negative 10, so I'm going to put negative 10. Plus, n, we don't know what term we're looking for yet, so we'll put n minus 1. And our common difference, how do we find our common difference? Our common difference is the difference between the two numbers here. So you take the second one minus the first one. So negative 4 minus a minus 10, which a minus, two minuses make a plus, and a minus 4 plus 10 is 6. So the difference here is 6. And if I add 6 to negative 4, I should get 2. If I add 6 to 2, I'm going to get 8. And if I add 6 to 14, uh, 6 to 8, I'm going to get 14. So my common difference is 6. Now, we're going to simplify this just so we can get an equation. So I'm going to distribute the 6 to the n's. And so when I rewrite this, I'm going to have n equals a negative 10 plus 6n minus 6. Again, i got to simplify it. So I'm grouping my like terms, which is a negative 10 and a negative 6. And that should give me negative 16 plus 6n. So this is our equation. So what if they ask you to find the 12th term? Okay, so you take your equation that you had, a n equals a negative 16 plus 6. And then let's say we're going to put the 12 in for n, because n represents the term. That's what we're looking for. And so we have to do PEMDAS first. So if I do PEMDAS first, I'm going to multiply the 6 and the 12, which is 72. And now to find my answer, I'm going to subtract 16 from 72. So I take 72 minus 16, and it looks like I get 56. So if I do this right, my 12th number is going to be, if we're doing this, 56. This is my term. This is my number. So my 12th term will be 56. So 56 will be the 12th number in line. If Okay, so what if they asked you, what if they, you, you give an equation and you're asked to find what term, so otherwise they want us to find n because n represents the term so they want to know what place will number 56 come in and we already know this answer because I just did it on the other slide but we're just kinda like asking ourselves what would happen if they said which place did number 56 come in well if you remember a n is our answer so we're gonna put 56 in for a n We don't know the term, so we're going to leave n alone. Now we do PEMDAS backwards like we've done before. I want to get rid of my variables n. It's being multiplied by 6, and it's being subtracted by 16. It's not being added by 16. Remember, the sign in front of the number always follows it. So this is really a negative 16. So I'm going to add 16 to both sides. When I do this, this becomes my zero pair. And I'm going to add this. So this becomes 72. Now, what's my variable? It's n. What's being done to n? It's being multiplied by 6, so I'm dividing both sides by 6. And I should get n equals 12, which means that my n value, which means term, my term is going to be the 12th term. And that will, that will contain the number 56.